gene modification, gene editing, gene splicing, whatever you want to call it, it's something that sparked a lot of controversy. While some say that this technology will lead to a longer lifespan in humans and an overall improvement in the quality of life, others look at it simply as man playing God. Nonetheless, research in the science has continued and has produced some amazing creatures. Today we're going to be taking a look at 10 strange creatures created by scientists. Number one is good enough to be a plot of a blockbuster movie, so watch out for that one. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. The Human Z. Before we dive into the verifiable facts, let's dip our toes in the vast waters of hearsay. If two Chinese scientists are to be believed, China nearly made the first hybrid decades ago. In 1967, they came close to creating a human-chimpanzee hybrid, and they would have succeeded if the project hadn't been shut down. Two scientists from Shenyang have claimed that they participated in an experiment in which they successfully impregnated a female chimpanzee with human sperm. Their ultimate goal being to create a more advanced chimpanzee, one with a bigger brain and a wider mouth. They hoped that these newly developed features would allow them to speak. If they were successful, life wasn't going to be easy for the new hybrid. They planned to have them pull carts and herd sheep and even send them off to space as experiments. The project fell apart because of the Cultural Revolution. Zealous revolutionaries smashed their lab and destroyed their work, and the chimpanzee died before she could come to term. The researchers claimed that she was already three months pregnant. In 1981, the scientists said that they planned to try again, though nothing ever did come of it, likely because of the growing concern about human ethics. Number 9. The Spider Goat if somehow the title made you expect a wall-crawling goat that can shoot web out of its hooves, I apologize. It's really not as exciting as that, but in no way it's less amazing. Freckles is a very special goat. She and her seven other siblings look like any other goat on the outside. They probably look like any other goat on the inside as well, but they share an ability that no other goats have. The ability to produce silk. Nope, they don't have spinnerets on some part of their body. The silk is in the milk that they produce. This amazing ability is the result of genetic engineering. Randy Lewis, a professor of genetics at Utah State University, and his team were successful in isolating a part of a spider's DNA that is responsible for the production of silk, and insert them into goat's DNA that is responsible for milk production. As a result, freckles milk contains spiderweb protein, which can be later harvested and out to use. Spider silk is a very durable material. In fact, it's stronger than Kevlar. It can be used in ligament repair and as a material for other products. Number 8. The Sudden Death Mosquito Nope, they aren't genetically engineered super mosquitoes that give you more than a minor irritation when it bites, although their name does make them scarier than they actually are. In actuality, they are, at least their creators hope, would be the way for us to completely eliminate mosquito-borne diseases like dengue and malaria. Sudden death mosquitoes are genetically altered males that have been pre-programmed to die, but before they do, they pass on that same genetic trait to their offspring. These mosquitoes survive in the lab because they are constantly being fed a tetracycline, a common antibiotic that somehow represses the death gene. Out in the wild, they don't get access to that material, hence the repressed genes start kicking in. Scientists hope to release these mosquitoes in the wild and have them mate with wild females. The resulting offspring will carry the death gene and subsequently die young. Dengue is carried by mosquitoes and is the scourge of urban areas in the developing world, much as malaria is in rural regions. Many mosquito elimination programs simply don't work, and some are even harmful to the environment by the use of chemicals. Number 7. High Octane Bugs The world's reliance on fossil fuels is growing every single day. The problem is we only have a finite amount of it, and when they run out, the entire world is quite literally done for. Although it is true that there are a lot of renewable fuel sources out there, but one thing is preventing them from being fully adapted. The world economy. The use of crude oil and its byproducts is critically interwoven in the world economy, and moving away from using them would require a massive overhaul of the global economy. A move that no country is willing to do and for good reason. A small company located in Silicon Valley, California may have the answer though. Instead of looking for alternatives to crude oil, they have actually found a way to make it, and they are using bugs to do it. LS9 is a company that has successfully engineered microscopic single-celled organisms to literally excrete out crude oil. These high-octane bugs feed on bio-waste such as straw and wood chips and produce fuel as their waste product. 
As it turns out, crude oil is only a few molecular stages removed from the fatty acids normally excreted by yeast or E. coli during fermentation. It does not take much fiddling to get the desired result. As of now, we are still many years away from cars fueled by bugs, but I personally feel that this is a step in the right direction. Number 6. Naked Chickens Who doesn't love to eat chicken? If you're non-vegetarian, I'm pretty sure you do. The thing is, getting that chicken from the farm to your plate is not very environmentally friendly, and it's not their droppings that have a lot of impact. It's actually their feathers. Removing feathers from a chicken is a laborious process that often contaminates large quantities of water with feathers and fatty tissues. Just what could be the solution? The Naked Chicken. A bizarre and terrifying breed of chicken created by researchers led by Avigdor Kahaner. This is at the genetics faculty of the Rahavat Agronomy Institute to Tel Aviv, Israel. The purpose behind this man-made monstrosity was to create a chicken that is cheaper and more convenient and efficient compared to the typical everyday chicken we all know and love, hence the lack of feathers. Interestingly, this strange breed is not genetically modified, but is the result of a 50-year effort using natural breeding methods. Number 5. Double-Muzzled Pigs World populations are rising, but food production is not really catching up. That's why there are people who spend their lives trying to develop a way of increasing food production. That's why the Belgian Blue Cattle was developed, a type of cattle that has significantly more muscle mass, thus providing more meat per animal compared to normal cattle. The problem is, it took decades of selective breeding to achieve this. But if scientists in Korea are going to have their way, they could put an end to food shortage in a few years rather than decades. Their solution is genetically modified double-muscled pigs. The key to creating the double-muscled pigs is a mutation in the myostatin gene, or MSTN. MSTN inhabits the growth of muscle cells, keeping muscle size in check. However, in some cattle, dogs, and humans, MSTN is disrupted, and the muscle cells proliferate, creating an abnormal bulk of muscle fibers. To be exact, the process that they used is gene editing, which compared to regular gene modification, only disables a single gene from an animal's DNA. This method, scientists hope, would find more public favor and open the way for genetically modified food to reach the markets. Number 4. Landmine Detecting Plants Landmines are the bane of modern warfare. They're actually not designed for killing people, as hard to believe as that might be. They're actually designed to make enemy movements more predictable by placing them around areas where they might approach and try to deny them that route. It might make sense from a military perspective, but when you realize that wars and armies are not unlike bad party guests who make a mess of everything and don't bother cleaning up after. This means that landmines often remain on the battlefield for decades after. And battles happen where people live normally. When those people return, they now have to deal with landmines, and there are around 70 people per day who are injured or killed by landmines. The countries that put those mines into place often refuse to even give out the location of where those mines were planted. Mine removal is also not cheap, and it's dangerous too. So what is the solution? Apparently a company called Aressa Biodetection found your typical mad science solution. They produce a plant that when it hits nitrogen dioxide, a very important ingredient in explosives, it turns red. Hence it shows off where the landmines are so they can be avoided or removed more safely. Number 3. Ruppy. Short for a ruby puppy, Ruppy is quite an extraordinary dog. For one, Ruppy is a clone, which was fertilized in a petri dish and transplanted into a surrogate mother. Also, correct me if I'm wrong, and I'm pretty sure that no other dog does this, Ruppy glows a bright ruby red when under ultraviolet light. She was created by Korean scientist Bayong Chun Lee of Seoul National University in South Korea. They created the dogs by cloning fibroblast cells that express a red fluorescent gene produced by sea anemones. But if you think you'd be able to buy glow-in-the-dark puppies in pet stores, you better think again. Ruppy is proof of concept for the creation of transgenic dogs of human diseases. This means that certain human diseases can be transferred to animals so that cures can be easily studied without the use of human guinea pigs. Now it's time for the day's best pig. And today's photo shows a rat with a human ear growing on its back. That's gotta be completely fake, right? Well, the answer will definitely surprise you, so stay tuned. Number 2. The Vacanti Mouse Back in the 90s, three scientists decided to create human body parts in a lab. They had experimented with creating biodegradable scaffoldings, or structures that would dissolve inside a body, in various shapes. One day, Joseph Vacanti heard his colleague complain that it was so hard to create new ears for patients who are missing them, as ears have such peculiar and complicated shapes. 
That's when he decided to make a scaffolding in the shape of a human ear. They then put cartilage cells in the scaffolding, then implanted them under the skin of a mouse. Thus, the nightmare fuel known as the Vacanti Mouse was born. Although this experiment was a complete success, it doesn't mean that we would be harvesting all sorts of body parts from mice. Rather, this was an experiment that would allow humans to grow their own missing body parts in the future. In fact, there already was a successful human application of this technique. In January of 2018, doctors in China and Japan published a study showing that they had achieved just that. Two and a half years prior, they had recruited children with one malformed ear each. The scientists scanned their normal ears, reversed the shape using a computer, and 3D printed a new biodegradable scaffolding. They added cartilage cells from their patients and put the scaffoldings under the skin. As a result, the children now have two ears that are mostly normal. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only five seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next five seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number one, the real planet of the apes. Parkinson's disease affects millions of people worldwide. It is a debilitating condition that has no known cure. That's why scientists from all over the world are trying different methods to find a cure, but not all of them are considered ethical. Take this one for example. In 2007, Yale put human neural stem cells into five monkeys to see how it would affect Parkinson's disease. Medically, the results were very positive. The monkeys, all of which suffered from the disease, could walk, eat, and move better than before. They had significantly fewer problems with tremors, and it all came with no tumors or toxic side effects. It tell me, does any of this sound familiar to you? Yep. This is basically the plot of the movie Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Though this experiment lead to a race of super intelligent and super strong race of apes that will soon take over the world? Eh, who knows? 2020 isn't even close to being over yet, so I wouldn't put it past it. Did we leave any out? Let us know in the comments section down below. Want to watch more videos about amazing animals? Click on any of the videos you see on your screen. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.